Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? Stackapolis Jack here bringing you another video. And today, be discussing ILUS. Yes, as you can see, look at the five day chart. It's been a lot of consolidation up, down, and currently sitting at roughly 39 cents USD. But we have some news within this company. A few days ago, they announced they acquired the Tennessee based Bullhead Products Incorporated. And they generate roughly $3 million in annual revenue. But yes, the first U.S. acquisition was this week. They announced, announced it. But there's more news on the horizon. So getting into it, as you can see here yesterday, they wrote on Twitter, following successful meetings that Nicholas Link and Backwell JP, who is the director, have had New York Oil U.S. has now started preliminary due diligence on a nine-figure revenue company. They're currently worth... The market cap's roughly four hundred million, so they're now looking into getting it to a billion dollar company. As you can see, our vision is very clear. We are building a multi billion dollar company. Yes, you heard that right, and you see that right. Multi billion. So if that is the case, the stock has a long ways to go. It's still only the beginning still. Of course, guys, this is not financial advice. You have to do your own due diligence when investing in these companies, so getting into it. As you can see today, they announced the quarter three highlights as updated by the director, J.P. Beckwell. Let's get into it. So as you can see here, very professionally written as a letter. As you can see here, they discuss incredibly busy week for them with acquisition meetings, NASDAQ meetings, new technology meetings, interview for new management hires in New York, and looking at larger office space in the city. As you can see, Nick is on his way back from New York and will be continuing with the European acquisition amongst other things. And as you can see, you will have seen the progress we are making regarding acquisitions. And we'll be making more announcements next week. Hopefully by now you will clearly see the strategy coming together as we acquire manufacturing and dist distribution capability. We are also gaining the existing revenue that comes with it. And that is so true. As we talked about earlier in the video, as you can see right here, Yesterday, Jason was in Mississippi with the bull hid general manager that we just discussed, working on the final stage of closing a $1.1 million order already. And based on his feedback, the meetings have gone very well. So we are already working on ramping up the sales opportunities aggressively. As you can see here, I am working on the final stages of the additional acquisitions here in, and in the UK. And announcements will be made via press releases when ready. And... As we just discussed, you may also have seen that we have just begun due diligence on a larger ac acquisition with nine figure values, which is forms one component of our NASDAQ catalyst. It's insane. And a lot of people are asking where quarter three figures are. Again, they're going to be made available on November 15th, so no need to worry. This company has always delivered thus far. So, as you can see, in terms of what I can say at this stage, it was the best quarter yet on all fronts, and our revenue was more than $3 million, representing approximately 10 to 15% increase from the second quarter revenue. So just from this year, the revenue in quarter one, wasn't, which wasn't a full operating quarter, was just over half a million. In quarter two, it was $2.86 million. And as you can see here, third quarter revenue, while it closed at $3 million based on invoice sales, now another important point here, they say, I think what's more important than all this, though, given that we are building a sustainable long-term NASDAQ-worthy company, is that we've achieved so many fundamentally growth milestones in the third quarter. They hired a new global marketing director, global sales director, finance director. So many big things here. Of course, there's more. Talk about the multi-million dollar deal in 2020 in the Burge building. And as you can see here, another important point next week. Next week, we will announce the details of our annual shareholder meeting and the two, two additional shareholder meetups that will take place in November for those who can make it. In addition to the usual shareholder meeting formalities, we will also be introducing you to new board members that will be to our NASDAQ up list, and we will be presenting our NASDAQ plans. So more and more information coming to your shareholders in many different ways, many different forms of these meetings. Of course, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and comment and subscribe for more content. Of course, have a fantastic day, everybody. Thanks for watching.